Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 17. Now the Peleshitim gathered together at their armies to battle, and were gathered together at Soko, which belongs to Yahuda, and pitched between Soko and Azekah, in Ephech Damim. And Shaul and the men of Yashadael were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Peleshitim. And the Peleshitim stood on a mountain on the one side, and Yashadael stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Peleshitim, named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass, and he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed six hundred shekels of iron. And one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Yashad Ael, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am not I a Peleshiti, and ye servants to Shaul? Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. And the Peleshiti said, I defy F the armies of Yashar'el this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Shaul and all Yashar'el heard Eth those words from of the Peleshiti, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of that Ephrathi, rather, Ephrathi of Beit Lechem Yahuda, whose name was Yishai. And he had eight sons. And the man went among men for an old man in the days of Shaul. And the three eldest sons of Yishai went and followed Shaul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliav, the firstborn, and next unto him Avinadav, and the third Shama. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Shaul. But David went and returned from Shaul to feed at his father's sheep at Beit Lechem. And the Peleshiti drew near morning and evening and presented himself forty days. And Yishai said unto David his son, Take now for your brethren an ephah of this parched grain and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to your brethren. And carry eth these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand. And look how eth your brethren fare, and take eth their pledge. Now Shaul and they, and all the men of Yashara'el, were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Peleshitim. And David rose up early in the morning, and left at the sheep with a keeper, and took and went, as Yishai had commanded him, and he came to the trench, as the host was going forth to the fight, and shouted for the battle. For Yashara'el and the Peleshitim had put the battle in array, army against army. And David left at his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage, 
and ran into the army and came and saluted his brethren. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Pelishti of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Pelishtim, and spoke according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Yashida'el, when they saw Eth the man, fled from him and were sore afraid. And the men of Yashida'el said, Have ye seen this man that is come up? Surely to defy Eth Yashida'el is he come up. And it shall be that the man who kills him, the king will enrich him with great riches and will give him Eth his daughter and make Eth his father's house free in Yashida'el. And David spoke to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that kills Eth this Pelashiti, and takes away the reproach from Yashida'el? For who is this uncircumcised Pelashiti, that he should defy the armies of the living Elohim? And the people answered him after this matter, saying, So shall it be done to the man that kills him? And Eliav, his eldest brother, heard when he spoke unto the men, and Eliav's anger was kindled against David, and he said, Why came you down hither, and with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know eth your pride, and eth the wickedness of your heart, for you are come down that you might see the battle. And David said, what have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another and spoke after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spoke, rather David spoke, they rehearsed them before Shaul, and he sent for him. And David said to El Shaul, Let no man's heart fail because of him, your servant will go and fight with this Pelashiti. And Shaul said to El David, You are not able to go against this Pelashiti to fight with him, for you are but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto El Shaul, Your servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion, and eth a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Your servant slew eth both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Pelashiti shall be as one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living Elohim. David said, moreover, Yahuwah that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Pelashiti. And Shaul said unto El David, Go, and Yahuwah be with you. And Shaul armed Eth David with his armor, and he put a helmet of brass upon his head, also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded eth his sword upon his armor, and he assayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto El Shaul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him, and he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had, even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Pelishiti. And the Pelishti came on and drew near unto El David, and the man that bore the shield went before him. And when the Pelishiti looked about and saw Eth David, he disdained him, 
for he was but a youth, and ruddy, and of a fair countenance. And the Palishti said unto El David, Am I a dog that you come to me with staves? And the Palishti cursed F. David by his Elohim. And the Palishti said to El David, Come to me, and I will give F. your flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Pelishiti, You come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to you in the name of Yahuwah Savaoth, the yellow high of the armies of Yashara'el, whom you have defied. This day will Yahuwah deliver you into my hand, and I will smite you, and take eth your head from you, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Pelishitim this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is an Elohim in Yashara'el. And all this assembly shall know that Yahuwah saves not with sword and spear, for the battle is Yahuwah's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, when the Pelishti arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army, rather, and ran toward the army to meet the Pelishti. And David put at his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it and smote at the Pelishti in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Pelishti with a sling and with a stone and smote at the Palishti, and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Palishti, and took at his sword, and drew it out of the sheath thereof, and slew him, and cut off his head therewith. And when the Palishti saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Yashel and of Yahuda arose and shouted and pursued at the Pelishti until you come to the valley and to the gates of Ikran. And the wounded of the Pelishtim fell down by the way to Sha'araim, rather Sha'araim, even unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Yashara'el returned from chasing after the Pelishtim, and they spoiled at their tents. And David took at the head of the Pelishti and brought it to Yerushalayim. But he put at his armor in his tent. And when Shaul saw at David go forth against the Pelishti, he said unto Avner, the captain of the host, Avner, whose son is this youth? And Avner said, As your soul lives, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Inquire you whose son the stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter eth of the Pelishti, Avner took him and brought him before Shaul with the head of the Pelishti in his hand. And Shaul said to him, Whose son are you, you young man? And David answered, I am the son of your servant Yishai, the Beit Hal Lachmi.